I call myself a socially engaged participatory photographer. What does that mean? I do and I photograph at the same time. I carry my camera while I am actively engaged with social political issues. For example, uh, demonstrations, uh, marches, um, talks, uh, times and zones of conflict, uh, travel. Um, I'm a witness. I am there, I am present, and I am using my camera to try to show what I observe. I try to understand, and as I understand, um, I, 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 I try to not make a record, but interpret photographically. And over my 60-year history or so as a photographer, I've worked on various themes such as racism, climate destruction, South Africa, poverty, as well as a variety of other topics that aren't uh, in that realm, uh, like landscape photography and portraiture. Since 2003, now some 20 years, I have been going to Palestine, Israel, to photograph the situation there, try to understand it, and depict what I observe. Most recently, I had, it's uh, 2018, I have been photographing people who have been forcibly displaced by Israel in 1948 to found a new state. This is called the Nakba in Arabic. And I have done this over the years with help from a number of people. I do not work alone. People in Israel-Palestine, uh, certainly the participants in my Nakba project, which I call the Ongoing and Relentless Nakba, with help from my Quaker community, my family, friends, many others. I plan to return in the fall of this year, 2021, mainly to locate the original towns and villages that um, Palestinians who I photographed are from. Israel, understandably, has tried to erase this. They have built um, Israeli communities, uh, formed national parks, some are closed military zones. Um, many I can't, uh, can't reach at all for, because of other restrictions. Um, a, so an, or, an Israeli organization Zokrot, which in Hebrew means remember, has provided a, an app called iNakba, which helps me find the specific sites of expulsion, but doesn't help me find the artifacts within those sites that really indicate habitation. Cemeteries, um, ruins, uh, wells, um, roads and the like. So I, I, that's that's my main mission going back. Over this three-year period and before with other topics, I have had various kinds of exhibits, including in libraries, uh, universities, other schools, including high schools, um, and my online uh, uh, blog and website, photographic website, and I use social media extensively. Because of the pandemic, I have not been able to exhibit in place, in person. And so photographs like this I have been making over this year plus period. And recently I've been printing from a set I made in a Jerusalem neighborhood called Sheikh Jarrah in Palestinian Jerusalem. And since 2009, I have been visiting there, photographing and meeting people, in particular Nabil al-Kurd and Mohammed Sabah. And I call this uh, maniacal printing. I have no way to exhibit these other than virtually, uh, but I have faith that eventually I will find exhibit venues. My, one of my objectives is to argue for, witness for, the right of return of Palestinians, but also, technically speaking, to I aim at a multi-platform book, which means different layers. 
a, a fold-out photographic book with high-quality printing, and then um, uh, XR codes that bring people to internet sites where they will find my videos, audios, audio um, interviews, um, and maps, and other supplementary material. So I'm indeed extremely grateful to people who have contributed to my GoFundMe campaign, which I will now end. Um, and this, is, this video is part of the update for ending that. So, using the Arabic word for thank you, shukran.